You know, in, in, when you get to heaven one day, you're gonna do two things in heaven. Uh, you're gonna love God and you're gonna love his family. What does God want you to do while you're here on earth for 80 years? Practice. So when you get to heaven, you practice loving God and loving other believers in his family. Why? So when you get to heaven, you're not a doofus. You already know how to love God and you already know how to love other Christians who often were not always lovable. And you aren't either, by the way. All right? To dwell above with those we love, that will be a glory. To dwell below with those we know, well, that's another story. <laughs> you know, we, we love people in the ideal, but we don't love them in the real because we all have warts and problems and we mess up. And all. God wants us to learn to love real people, not ideal people. That's why he put the people around you who are sitting next to you. Don't look at them. <laughs> Be cool. Okay. But God intentionally allows people in your life to sandpaper your rough edges. Okay. So don't go home and say, honey, thank you, heavenly sandpaper. You know, just, but you know what I'm talking about. Hebrews 10, verse 25 on the screen. The Bible says this. Let us not give up the habit of meeting together. Instead, let us encourage one another. God wants worship to be a habit. Notice the word habit. Circle the word habit on your outline. God wants worship to be a habit, but he also wants fellowship to be a habit. Now, here's the second purpose. The second purpose of life is to learn to love others. The second purpose of life. First purpose of life is to learn to love God. Second purpose, and that's called worship. The second purpose of life is to learn to love others, and that's called fellowship. Like two fellows on a ship, you gotta get along. 